Hey Patreon friends, I figured since I didn't give you a good full live stream yesterday because of just how weird it was out where I was last night, um, I thought I'd stop on the way home and, and show you Mill Fork Cemetery behind me. I think I went here on uh, YouTube with my aunt earlier in the year, but I thought, I thought I'd show you the fall colors out here in Utah. So let's take a look. And this cemetery is super cool because you walk up stairs and go on a bridge over this babbling brook. Okay, well, it's not babbling, it's whispering. It's like a whispering brook. Oh, this is rickety. Would you look at that view? I'll tell you what. Utah is such a beautiful state, especially in the fall. And I love that you can picnic out here. Who child, I'm out of breath. So, Mill Fork Cemetery. There are a lot of children buried here. Oh, sorry. And so, we got this little whale out of a, what do you call it? What are those little machines where you put a quarter in when you're a kid and get a ball out? Whatever they're called. We got a little toy at taco time love taco time we're gonna bring it and drop it off here for the kids so we're on a busy highway this is highway 6 also known as the deadliest highway in uh, America or the it's definitely Utah deadliest highway here fun fact Okay. I found the whale. So, here you go. It's our little gift. These cute little children. Yeah. Good enough. These are all babies. So cute. I don't know if I told you all before, but there used to be little boxes, plexiglass boxes here that had toys and, yeah, had little toys and trinkets for the children like that, but they're all gone now. Oh, look, everyone has one. All the babies have a little glow in the dark guy. That's so sweet. And these babies died long time ago. 1892. I'm gonna leave it for all of them right here on this rock. Oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> that's our spirit whale. That's our... From Skinwalker Ranch. He's, he's our, been our mascot all weekend. He's our mascot and our protector. Did I ever tell you the story about one of these headstones, Mayor? Let me tell you the tragic story of the Elliots here, actually, now that I'm looking at this headstone. So Myrtle Elliot here, she was, um, how old was she? 14 or something. What's that say on her headstone? 96. To 05. Well. So she was nine. <laughs> Did I say 14? <laughs> I don't do math. Yeah, she was nine. Sad, this is a sad story. So she was hanging out with her brother and her brother used to unpack 100 pound bags of grain because they worked at a grain mill over here. The brother didn't see poor Myrtle behind him and he dropped the sack on her and killed her. That's how she died. And that's not the end of the tragedy. This is her dad next to her, Edson. He worked in the coal mines out here 
He was struck by a coal car and it hit him so hard his hat flew off, but that didn't kill him. It was the nine other coal cars that kept coming and running him over and he uh, finally died. So this family has a lot of uh, tragic history and um, it's very sad. And he died just right after his daughter, so. What are the tiny ones? These are all descendants of the Elliots. This is all their family. I don't know the stories on any of the others, but I know these two. Very crazy. The more you know, right? It's always, it's always kind of, and it's not cool, but it is kind of cool to, to have a story to back you up behind what you're looking at back there. And in this cemetery, most of the victims are children because the scarlet fever ravaged the whole area back in the 1900s, early 1900s. And so uh, a lot of these headstones are deaths from that scarlet fever epidemic. Oh, here's the back of Myrtle's headstone. It says, here beneath this marble stone, we laid a, pe a precious treasure away from earthly care and pain. No more she, no more she'll have to suffer. Why is the apostrophe down there? But though her place we cannot fill, we look for a, fur a future meeting when we can see our darling child and hear her sweet voice greeting. Oh, that's so sweet. And this is hand carved, you guys, by hand. That's why it's a little hard to read, but it's so pretty. Scarlet fever was a big killer of the graves, uh, of the graves, of the people in the graves here. But let me tell you the last story. This is the, uh, this is the weirdest story in the cemetery. So let's walk over to that part of the cemetery. So this story is probably the most violent, well, it is the most violent death and story in the cemetery. Let me get in here and learn how to use a gate. That'd be great. Thanks so much. <laughs> Yeah. They keep their tools for gardening. This is where I went in in one of the opening shots for my ghost hunt to the Great Saltaire. If you haven't seen the Saltaire investigation, I'll put a link below. So this brings us to our, this is our final story of the dead for today. So this is Ida, Viola, and Paris Ballard. So Ida lived in Salt Lake and so did Paris. That was her husband. And Paris uh, had a very bad drinking problem and he was a very angry man, very jealous man. And uh, he would always beat Ida and threaten to kill her. And finally one night Ida got the police in Salt Lake because <coughs> he would usually be off in uh, Antelope Island working. And they escorted her home and told to you know to get help her get her things and he wasn't there so the police left but he actually wasn't gone he was out purchasing whiskey and a gun so he came home in a drunken fit of rage and he dragged poor Ida into the house and he shot her in the head two times and then shot himself in the bed and the police found her dead on her knees in the, in the bedroom. And then he died in the hospital. And the family thought it would be a good idea. Are you hearing this? Yeah, I am. The family decided to bury her murderer yes. next to her right here where we stand. This asshole. Oh, Paris, why'd you have to do that? But I do like how she that, gets, like, he gets a penny, but she gets a dime because she's definitely worth more. True. That's a very sad story, I mean, to that be honest. Sad. But that's just f up that they would bury her killer next to her. 
So I'm sure she's not happy about that. Actually, I'm sure she probably doesn't give a shit. She's mm -hmm. off living her best new life. She is. And I hope she is. Like, I hope you have peace, girl, because you deserved better than that. There's so many stories in these cemeteries, so many stories in any cemetery, so y'all should go to your own local little cemetery and check it out. So anyway, that's gonna do it for me today. I just wanted to tell you a few stories of the cemetery in more detail. And thank you so much for being a Patreon subscriber. I really do appreciate you. Until I see you next time, keep it paranormal. Bye-bye now.